Good evening. <laughs> oh, I'm laughing. Uh, yeah, good evening and welcome to tonight's edition, the last edition of the week um, of the Visibility Made Easy. So if you're watching this, you know the rules, you can see me but I can't see you. I sometimes see a number count and sometimes nothing. So if you are watching, do type in the box and say hi. I'm also going to check on my computer because there I was broadcasting through my newfound Facebook Live toy, chatting away, and then it occurred to me that it was very quiet. <laughs> so I had a little check um, and I had a little uh, look and uh, there was no one there. <laughs> it was really funny. So I was chatting away to myself. So hopefully you can see me, hopefully you can hear me. Um, if you can hear me, if you just like pop some love hearts or something across the screen, let me just turn my camera around a bit more. Um, yeah, pop me some love hearts across the screen and type in and say, hi Jenny, I can hear you. And then I know that we are all good. So because I plan to do this from my laptop, I'm actually holding my camera. So if you see a bit of shakiness, please forgive me. Um, as I say, I was really happily <laughs> chatting away to you and then I realised that um, I wasn't actually broadcasting, there was nothing showing up on my screen so it's going to get a bit shaky while I just make sure that um, that we're all good. So I can see there's some of you watching um, and because I keep shaking my camera it keeps adjusting the light so um, yes let's wait and see. So while I am checking out my technology <laughs> and just making sure that I'm not speaking to an empty space, hey, um, Francie says, hi, Jenny, and hi, Alan, big waves. Oh, good. So at least you can see me and I can see your, your comments. So thank you for that. Um, thank you, France Lees. Whew. Nothing worse than talking to yourself. Anyway, so let me recap on what I'd said on the other one that uh, kind of didn't, didn't um, show. I'm just going to check my screen because hopefully I can see um, a bit more, like see the comments, see if there are any questions. It's Friday night. People are getting ready to go out, put their kids to bed, get ready for the weekend. Alan says, hi, the queen of being seen, Jenny Kovacs. Hello, I like what you did there. <laughs> so as always, if you or someone else you know needs this, um, there's two things you can do. If it's for you, you can either save this video afterwards so you can come back to it for whenever you need it. Um, if it's somebody else in your life that you need, look, I've got my flowers there and everything's still all set up and all ready. Never mind. Um, but if it's for someone else you need, then please feel free to share it either to your page, to your group, um, or even to your personal profile um, where someone else can hopefully get the benefits of some of the tips I share. So for those of you that are watching this on the replay or watching this and thinking, who is this woman? My name's Jenny Kovacs and I'm affectionately known as the queen of being seen. Hey, I've just seen a love heart. It's all working. That's good. And um, visibility is my thing. In fact, visibility in you being seen, being heard, being noticed, being remembered and getting out there is actually my thing. So each week on this page, Monday to Friday at 7 p.m. GMT, and just check your time zone for wherever you are, whether you're in the States, so I get a few of you watching from there, where it's the afternoon, um, or wherever else you are in the world. So on Wednesday, we covered um, some visibility tips, but also um, some structure to help you get into the momentum of visibility without the overwhelm. I shared three tips with you and I've had a lot of people saying, have you got any more tips that you can share? So I thought I'd come back tonight and share a couple more tips with you. These are designed to help you whilst you're being visible help you while you're getting out there, help you while you're getting out there even more to stop that feeling of spinning plates. Have you ever had that where you feel like you're juggling lots of balls in the air, spinning plates, trying to keep everything up and you just don't know what to do next or how? I call this visibility made easy because there's lots of tools and techniques that are shared out there by some experts and some um, popular people. But, you know, I've been doing um, this as a visibility specialist since 2012 when no one else was speaking about it. And what I found was that I found really easy ways to help people to get out there and be seen without it being complex. I've also found that whilst a lot of people now recognise 
visibility um, is an important factor of whether it's a business or whether it's a career, if you want to elevate in your career to stand out. Um, it's such an important factor. However, a lot of people are now tagging on visibility to what they do, and it's not necessarily fun and it's not necessarily easy. So I'm on a revolution to um, to get it out there and get you out there and get you having a life that you love. So just to recap on Wednesday, the three tips that I shared in greater detail than this. So go back to Wednesday if you, you know, if you can't find it. And as I say, if you're a regular liker of this page, just click on subscribe. And every time I go live or share some content or something, you know, some information that's going to be really useful to you, you'll get notified. You don't have to look at it there and then you can save it and come back. But at least you've got it in your back pocket as something that you can pull out for when you need it. On Wednesday, I shared um, if you'd clustered tasks together, how that could really help. See how by watching the video, um, taking time off. What? Taking time off? How on earth does that help in getting more visible and, and stopping the overwhelm? Well, again, you'll see on Wednesday's video. And the third one, I said um, setting work hours. Many of us go from, um, from employment to self-employment and take our bad habits. And I actually shared that I would sometimes go into work at like 7 a.m., 7.30 and not leave the building until 10 o'clock at night. In fact, um, anyone who's watching this and worked with me at my last job in 2000 and what, 2007 to 2000, sorry, 2008 to 2010, um, will remember that I very famously got locked in a stairwell because I was leaving the office very late at night early hours of the morning and I didn't realise that the pass for the door to let me out stopped working after half past 11. So I don't want you to be taking those bad habits or ill behaviours into your, um, you know, your self-employment life because all that happens is not only do you get overwhelmed, you lose your energy, you lose your clarity, you, you lose your focus and then you become run down, burnt out, no use to anybody, can't help anybody else because you can't help yourself. And that's not the way to get out there and be visible. It's not what I want for you. So the tips that I'm going to share tonight um, on being visible is around focus. Because next week, I really want to concentrate on visibility tips that help you say yes to yourself and to get out of the fear and help other people hopefully to say yes to you too. So um, focused hours, well, depending on the sort of time um, that you've got in your day, what you do in your day, you might need um, to plug in some focused periods of time. It could be an hour, it could be 30 minutes, it could be 90 minutes, it's whatever works for you. So plug in those times, plug in um, the time that you have, not the time that you think you should use or the time that you think you should spend, but the time that you actually have. If you're doing the school run, you're dropping your kids to school and you know you've got 10 minutes after you've dropped them through the school gate and before you go on to do your next thing, then use that 10 minutes wisely. Pre-plan what you're going to do in those 10 minutes. Have a, a distinct plan of what you're going to do. That could be that you're just going to go onto social media from your phone and engage with people that have engaged with you. It could be anything you wish, depending on the type of business you've got and how you want to get out there, how you want to be visible. So um, having focused periods of time. Now, just to take this a bit deeper, um, a really fantastic mentor of mine um, that I worked with, she used to instigate power hours. And um, it's funny because I say power hours and people go, yeah, that's great. I'm going to go off and do that. Well, this mentor spent a lot of time. We're in a, um, a group mentoring program, which is always yummy because you can confer between each other. There's no comparison that goes on. It's just like, what do you do? What's worked for you? And that kind of thing. And um, this was about 160 people strong. She used to set up a power hour and also set us up for the best ways to use it. And this is something that a lot of the people that have worked with me close up and personal absolutely adore because it gets stuff done. It gets them out of overwhelm and it gets them um, seen. Bless. Ali says, hello. Sorry, running late tonight, everyone. Well, so was I, Ali. I was using that nice Be Live system. And uh, guess what? I was chatting away to myself and uh, I was chatting away to myself. It wasn't streaming anywhere, which was quite funny. So um, Alan says, hi, Ali. I love how everyone's so friendly when they're on these lives. So 
so the, the, here's the thing use like use your time and be focused in your time too um it's interesting i think and i'm gonna um, recall this at the top of my head um that i saw a quote last year when i went to an event it was by um the very famous d rockefeller the guy that was attributed to earning like billions of money and um he had a court case that was going on i'm kind of like paraphrasing the story but in this court case um somebody was trying to sue him for something he won the case and just before he left the judge said to him what's the secret to your wealth what's the secret to your riches and he said this one thing being able to focus my mind in one place for a set period of time and i think he cited five minutes so being able to focus his mind for five minutes in one place no distracting himself no procrastinating no going on facebook or anything else five minutes of pure focused attention you can achieve so much people think that they have to have heaps and masses of time and actually what you need is heaps and masses of focus so if you can focus your mind on one task at a time for even 15 minutes it's you know the the results you receive are absolutely phenomenal hey ian's on hi ian so um and what's interesting about that is you know i was speaking to ali who's on here who is the master coach for the visibility vibes um system and she she and i were talking about some things that i needed to get done and whilst I had done a lot of other things, the things that I actually wanted to get done, I hadn't done. It was a matter of focus. And it was interesting just to be able to speak those out to another coach who could ask the right questions, who could help me to focus my own mind afterwards was astounding. In fact, I gave her an update um, 24 hours later. And um, I, I think it's fair to say she was quite impressed by what I'd got through. <laughs> So um, Ali and Alan are saying hello to you, Ian, and they're waving. So, so hi, everyone. Enjoy the party. It's Friday night after all. Hope you're all having nice weekends. I've got something great planned for your weekends too. So having um, like having focus, having focused um, times, focused hours, focused minutes where you can really get down and focus on the task in hand. We've got Ivona's just joined the party. <laughs> Ali said what an amazing amount I got through and it was really funny because when you look back at where your area of focus is my area of focus was on those tasks in hand one at a time did one thing then did the next thing and did the next thing women are particularly great at multitasking or so they say however when you spread yourself thinly it does take you a little bit of time to get back into everything else so we've got alan saying hi ivona france lee saying hi to ivona we've got alan we've got france lee's we've got ali we've got ivona we've got alan we've i've said him already we've got ian on the line and we've got france lee's i think i've said her and a couple of more people watching can't see who you are so hello if you're watching do come and say hi join the party even if you're watching this on the replay so the next thing to, um, that really helps to keep you out of overwhelm when you're being visible or more visible is accountability. How do you hold yourself accountable? Here's a belief of mine that people don't often voice in this way. It's great to work with coaches and mentors who help to hold you accountable and keep you accountable. Absolutely. Trying to do things yourself is, um, you know, or feeling the fear of it, I think is a sure sign that you're trusting in your own, you know, your own self and nothing else. You're not reaching out to a crew of people or anybody else. However, start with being able to keep yourself accountable and then by all means you get the you know real juice and the effect of working with others whether it's people in your mastermind group whether it's people in um you know your like your coach or your mentor or people like you lovely vibers that are in the visibility vibes tribe i feel really sure that by you posting your celebrations and your shares for the week the things that you're most proud of um, you know, telling me about your successes, thus telling everybody else in the group about your successes is enough to spur somebody on. And especially if you're having a bad day or it feels like everything's pushing water uphill. Quite often when somebody posts and says, yay, I've cracked this thing or I've done this thing or I managed to get more sleep this week or managed to take breaks or have, you know, like have a lunch break or something like that. 
that then encourages other people and shows them that they can do the same. When you can look at someone else's success and celebrate it, I think that that really adds like diamond, gold, diamond pieces, diamond nuggets to being able to then see the possibilities for yourself too. So accountability, that is holding yourself accountable, holding yourself responsible. Now, here's something I'm going to share with you in order to hold myself accountable. You know, I, I try to inspire you guys and I really certainly hope that I do inspire you, um, inspire you to inspire yourselves, inspire you into action, inspire you to be motivated to go off and do the things that you wanted to do. And it hasn't always been that way for me, you know. There were times where I would put what most people might refer to as a victim mentality. I would only see the glass as half empty. Somebody would say to me, how are you doing? And I'd answer, not bad, you know, with a down, downturned mouth. When I became really aware at my responsibility in life, things started to really change for me. What do I mean by my responsibility in life? Well, this is another way in which you can be more visible you can be seen, be heard, be noticed, be remembered and really start getting out there is being responsible, stops the overwhelm in a heartbeat. And and how do you do that? That's your ability to respond. So next time somebody says the word responsibility, I know it has certain connotations in the English language, but think about it being your ability to respond to any given situation. So when somebody says, how are you doing? I'll normally answer, great, outstanding. The lovely um, Michael Bernard Beckworth always used to say, outstanding. Um, I remember once I would kind of like started getting into the practice of how are you doing? Rather than not bad, you know, great, outstanding. And um, I was listening to Michael Bernard Beckworth and he was talking about how sometimes when we're ill, you know, people say, how are you doing? Oh, could be better, I've got a cold, I've got a flu. Um, somebody said to him, well, how do you answer outstanding or great or awesome or fantastic when you're ill? And he said, I simply say, sickness is passing through my body. Now, something really weird happens when you say that. When you say sickness is passing through my body, it's like you're telling your brain that it's not there to stay, first off. The next thing that happened, and I swear, you know, if, if you have sickness passing through your body, say this to yourself. I remember having this cold, it was a head cold, and one of my friends said, how are you doing? And I said, I'm okay, sickness is passing through my body. And within hours, it was almost, it was weird. I had the cold symptoms, but I didn't have that heavy feeling that went with it. It was almost like I was observing what was going on in my body and saying, oh, well, I've got a bit of a runny nose and... I've got a bit of a, a, you know, a kind of like my eyes are a bit closed, but I actually feel OK. Hurry up, sickness and pass through my body. Now, I know that sounds like total gobbledygook, but here's the thing. When you're on a mission to make a difference to the lives of others, you really need to make sure that your visibility and you getting out there keeps you out of overwhelm. Oh, Ivona, I've just seen your comment. You do inspire me. Thank you so much. Um, I use the word purposefully try. I really do. Um, I, with everything I do, I always start with the end in mind. What do I want to do? I want to inspire people, but not from a not from a standing on a stage. Look at me with who? How great am I? But inspire you to go and do the things that you'd like to do. So um, Ivona says, sickness is passing through my body. We'll use this in the future. Try it. It's it's amazing. It's amazing. All of a sudden, you just become aware that your body is holding some symptoms, but you and yourself feel great. It's really weird, really bizarre. Let us know how you get on in the Visibility Vibes tribe, because I'm sure you don't want to uh, post it all over Facebook. Um, so, yes, give it a go. France Lee says totally true. And I know, France Lee, that you know this, because this, this is the kind of work that you do with people. So let me recap. In order to get more visibility and to get out there, some really fundamental things to do. Focus, number one, and then focus on the periods of time that you have got, not on what you haven't got. So if you've only got 20 minutes, use that time to focus. If you know you've got a few hours, use that time to focus, break it up, you know, get a bit of a break. Um, if you're doing stuff behind the computer, definitely take a break from the computer. Um, accountability, hold yourself accountable and find people that can hold you accountable 
per, you know, a person, whether it's a coach or a mentor or someone like that, that can hold you accountable. Now, a word of word to the wise on this. If you have a great and loving family, which many of us are blessed to have and great and loving friends who aren't on the same journey as you, they will not be the best people to hold accountable. Why? Because they worry about you. They'll worry about, you know, whether this is too pie in the sky. They'll worry about these big dreams that you have in your head that you're languaging. They'll worry about you. And what they want to do is to protect you and say, you know what? I know you've got these big dreams, but in the meantime, go off and do this other thing because they don't want to see you fail and they don't want to see you fall. So if you are um, deciding to share your dreams and your plans, share it with like minded people. I know it sounds like um, a cliche. Share it with like minded people who get it. So um, France Lees is asking how you hold yourself accountable. Um, France Lees, the honest answer to that is um, having a look at um, what what you can be responsible for. So I talked about responsibility being your ability to respond. And this is not just for France Lees, for anyone that's watching this. If you say to yourself, tomorrow I'm going to create a sales page or tomorrow I'm going to write a proposal for work or, you know, tomorrow I'm going to write a presentation, um, and you know that you've got meetings in between, things to do, and you've only got three hours, you're not um, holding yourself accountable and not being res like responsible, i.e. your ability to respond. Okay, so um, that's what you do. You fill your brain with things that will help you to keep yourself accountable. So here's how I keep myself accountable. If there's something I need to do. So the other day when I was speaking to Ali, I said, there's these four things I need to do. I wrote them down, just those four things on a post-it note where I could see them. But then I broke it down. So each thing that I did, I looked task by task. It's a short question to ask with quite a long answer. And there's a bit of a process to go through. Um, so hopefully that's given you kind of like a quick and short answer. Yes, you have to be realistic in terms of what you can do in the given time. I personally don't like the word realistic because, you know, when you think of people who have achieved so much, it might be that they've achieved balance within their family, order within their life, the you know, the life of their dreams before they've got there. Um, if they've classed it as realistic or unrealistic, it sometimes stops them from getting to the path of there. So how you hold yourself accountable is that you tell the truth to yourself. You tell the truth to yourself. If you're going to get something done over the weekend, out of those two massive days of the weekend, you're going to spend at least seven to eight hours sleeping, maybe more. You're going to spend time with the kids or family. You're going to spend time eating. You're going to spend time taking a break. You're going to spend time with loved ones. So be truthful to yourself and honestly look at how much time you've got. Put that one task in and keep holding yourself accountable. There's various different ways you can do it. Depends on the person. OK, so, yeah, really make sure that you're holding yourself accountable. If you need like a leg up in how you hold yourself accountable, then what I chose to do from the start was I chose to work with coaches and people that could help me not only to keep myself accountable or for me to keep accountable to them, but could help me to, to develop my own set of tools and techniques to be able to do that. Hope that makes sense. So, um, yeah, be true to yourself and always tell the truth to yourself. So um, in terms of being accountable, I'm going to wrap this up right now um, and let you enjoy your Friday nights and your weekend. I think I saw Namisha on there. And if I saw you on there, hi, my lovely. Um, so in terms of like really being true to yourself, tell the truth to yourself. Be, you know, be responsible. I have your ability to respond to any given situation. So that means the moment that somebody says, have you done such and such yet? And you find yourself maybe telling them a reason or an excuse or, a, well, it's difficult because I'm a single parent or it's difficult because I don't have much time or it's difficult because I have a job. Tell the truth to yourself. Next week, I'm going to cover how you can do more of this by what you do to transform the word when you want to say, but I can't do this. Another way just to springboard off that word to get you into the doing that you can do. OK, so um, absolutely be truthful to yourself, be truthful to yourself. 
if you're about to say, oh, I didn't get time because I've had so much to do and I was so busy, there's an energy behind that that sucks the power out of your ability to be responsible for the things that you're doing. Whereas if you say, you know what, I was really busy today and I realised that I wasted time, you know, watching crazy cats on YouTube. And, you know, perhaps if I hadn't have done that, then I might have got something different done. Or I watched cats on, you know, crazy cats on YouTube and actually I enjoyed it. It gave me the break that I needed, that, you know, so that I could focus on the next segment. Whatever the truth is to you, always be truthful to yourself. No excuses, um, you know, no lies to yourself. So thank you so much for joining me. The next Facebook Live is going to be over on my other page on Monday morning, 7am UK time for the Monday Motivation, where I'm going to be um, talking about fear and how to get past fear how to resolve it and what to do with that. Can't wait to see you there on Monday morning. And if you haven't yet joined the Visibility Vibes Tribe group and you'd like to, hop on over. Go to facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash be seen, be heard, get visible. Thank you so much for all of your support, all of your love, all of your comments and all of the massively great things that you're doing out there in the world. It makes me jump out of bed in the morning and want to do even more of these lives. Thank you so much for joining me on here and um, until the next live or until the next post, bye for now.